management of our finances is, quote, crowding out the services we need in Ontario. Yep. Because they did absolutely nothing about it, the auditor repeated herself almost word for word in the 2015 report. And now we see from the 2016 budget that life in Ontario has gotten even more expensive. This is because of the cancellation of the children's tax credit, the cancellation of the he uh, healthy home renovation tax credit, and almost doubling of the cost of drugs for most seniors. All because of 13 years of liberal waste management Management and scandal. Speaker, my question to the Premier is, why are the Liberals balancing the books on the backs of children, families and seniors? Thank you. Mr. Finance. Mr. Finance. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I appreciate the question from the, the opposition critic. And, uh, and, I, and I hope he takes uh, in a supplementary recognizing what we have done to increase support for seniors, to increase support for our children, to increase support for tuition so that more of those most vulnerable have an opportunity to go to post-secondary, right. to increase support for hospitals and health care by a billion dollars year over year, all of which to, is enabling everybody to be at their best, including social programs, and at the same time, Mr. Speaker, we're investing, investing heavily in infrastructure, investing heavily to stimulate economic growth. And Mr. Speaker, with our measures that we are taking, we are also balancing the books. Mr. Speaker, in the end, Ontarians expect us to manage prudently while still ensuring that we support the services that are so valuable to Thank all sir. Ontarians. Thank you. Back to the Premier. We believe this uh, budget was a real opportunity for the government to show the people of Ontario that they were listening. While all parties travelled throughout Ontario, all read the hundreds of letters and all heard about the pain people are feeling under this government. Families warned they can no longer make their hydro payments. Steve and Cheryl Siglin from Trout Creek said their hydro bill was $904.23 last month, even though they were away for a whole week and their furnace was off for five days because of a, uh, because of a power outage. They're small business folks, Speaker, ready to hire another person, but now they can't because not only did this budget not help them with their hydro bill, it brought more cost to their businesses. Speaker, I ask the Premier, what do you say to the Siglins who see only higher costs for their family? Thank you. So, Mr. Speaker, the member opposite make reference to consultations, of course, it was the first time that Mr. Finance actually invited members of uh, the Finance Committee to appear and have a discussion on these matters. We all did consultations across the province, over 20 cities, and I was very proud of the work that everyone did. And Mr. Speaker, they said, no, why don't you come meet with us? And I did, Mr. Speaker. And I thank the member opposite for sending his email memorandum uh, to that committee to advise us of, don't make any cuts, oh, furthermore, spend more. And then he goes on to say, you know what, uh, don't increase revenues, oh yeah, and balance the books. Mr. Speaker, I don't have the luxury as finance minister to live in, the, in their fiscal fantasy land. I live in the hard currency of reality to balance the books and to ensure that we do what's necessary for the people of Ontario, and that's what we are doing, Mr. Speaker. You see the place?